guess I could show y'all. All right, I can get started on removing the wheel studs. But um, I'll show you the size difference. So almost twice as long. But um, yeah, to remove these, it's pretty simple. Just grab a hammer. Knock the wheel stud out. Nice and easy. That's it. So I do a uh, one side at a time, but. So it's moving them today, so they're all out. And then I might have to remove might have to remove the hub. Or I'm thinking this uh adapter for the calipers because if I try to just slide it in, it gets hung up right around here. So I'm thinking that I could run it through here. I'll just have to remove this bracket. If not, I'll be taking the whole hub off and just doing it off the car. But it's pretty much on how to remove it. I'm gonna throw some of these parts in here. So. Cheaped out a little bit. I didn't go off the ARP or anything. This is a budget build, kind of. But if you're looking for them. I think the major thing is to know your thread pitch. These are M12 by 1.5, and then you got to know the neural length or neural size. So. Neural size is pretty much you measure this part of it. I believe that these are right under like half an inch, somewhere around there, but they'll work. So the part number for the new studs is six five one three one. It ordered on from Jags, so oh, there's the Jags brand, I believe. They were, I want to say, thirteen dollars, around thirteen for five. So of course you need uh, twenty in total, so four packs of them. So I ordered four packs of the wheel studs, and then I ordered a wheel stud installer tool off Amazon. Um. It's probably less than 20 bucks, I believe. But I think the only thing I need, like I said, is a is an open-ended uh, lug nut. So once I uh, push these through the hub, slide this on the other side, and you take your lug nut and an impact, and pretty much just pull the stud through until it's seated all the way but I'll go over that when I actually uh, throw them on so there you have it all right I guess I can show you some of the process so did take the hub off it's just three bolts in the back so took those three bolts out pulled the hub just slid in all the new studs and then I'm not going to be able to install them, install them today because the uh, socket I have is too short to uh, tighten it down all the way. But what you want to do pretty much is take the wheel installer tool, slide it on there, take the lug nut, had some extras from the blazer, 
A lot of them were stripped, so I didn't want to use them, but this one's working pretty good. Tying them on by hand, get them started. Then took the impact and I had a screwdriver. So pretty much get it started. Just have the screwdriver sitting behind it, just so uh, put some pressure on it so the stud's not spinning until it gets in to the hub. go with this socket I'm about to go get a deeper uh, 19 millimeter but you see it just pretty much pulls the new stud in and they'll sit in place so I'm just gonna get all these tightened down or started in there and my hop in the parts car and go get that socket today my neighbor's still outside see if he has a deep socket 19 and install them all the way but that's it might throw on time lapse when I do the other side and then if the back's a little different I'll explain those all right so I'll probably go over it on the other side do a little bit better comparison but this is with the uh, longer wheel studs on I know I showed when I revealed the wheel how set back the old wheel studs are. So these are with three inch wheel studs. They're only sticking out maybe, maybe half an inch, if that. But you gotta think, I don't have the rotor on, so that'll add another maybe quarter inch, half inch. Probably about the same as it's sticking out now. So that's why you wanna add longer wheel studs. So, I believe it might be flush with the wheel once uh, the rotor is on to push it out a little bit but that's just the update on it that's how it looks like I said I might actually measure it on the other side with the um, old studs in there but I think I did a good choice by going with the threes thought they were going to stick out too much but they're perfect Right here, the passenger side's done. It takes about uh, five, ten minutes to do the whole thing. I said, um, hammer the old ones out, and just because of clearance and how long they are, uh, remove the hub. So, pull the hub out, uh, threw the new wheel studs in. I don't know who's hitting me up that much, but, um, uh, throw the new wheel studs in, uh, put the hub back on. And then take your uh, wheel stud installer tool, slide it on there, get a good lug nut, start it by hand. Um, once you get it on hand, about halfway, and I just ran it down with the impact, and you run it down with the impact until the neural slides in into the hub, and just get that nice and flush, and that's it. So, there are people I've seen just run a whole bunch of washers, which I guess technically it works, but this has a bearing in it, so it'll spin. So, it'll save your lug, lug nuts, and it'll save your hub. But, um, yeah, that's it. So, fronts are on. I'm going to finish throwing the uh, rotor and caliper on that side. Give you guys a look. 
so I'll throw everything back on still gotta clean this up I really haven't sprayed it down yet I don't want to just keep that protective layer on there for now and once I'm ready to actually drive it I'll make sure to clean that oil off that it comes with but that's it for the longer wheel studs up front I said I will do the rears and go over doing that if it's different or if it's the same but it definitely make a difference so a little bit of size comparison but that's it I'm gonna put everything back on I'll set the front down and I'll do the rears probably sometime tomorrow all right so got the rears off um it's pretty much the same as the front I'm gonna knock the old wheel stud out and then there's plenty of room to slide the new wheel stud in I know of drum brakes it's different um, but I don't, I'm not working on drums so uh, the rear disc brakes should be the same just gotta find a place where there's not a bracket and there's room to slide the new stud in which there's plenty right in this area back here so it'll be the same process I might throw it on a time lapse but once you've seen it done uh, for the fronts it's the same for the rears as long as they're disc but um I should probably clean these up a little bit give it a fresh coat of paint or something but um I'm gonna throw the new wheel studs on then I'll decide on how I want to go about cleaning this up pads are fairly new or the rotors and pads are so they shouldn't need to be replaced but definitely this caliper could use a little touch up on the paint but I don't think I'm gonna do it today though so I'm just gonna get back to doing the wheel studs like I said it's, it's hammered out slide the new stud in get your stud installer tool and a uh, old lug nut. Just torque it down until it pulls the stud all the way through. That's all it is. <laughs> Pretty much the things you gotta look out for. There's a thread pitch and then like I said the neural size. So, this one's right over half an inch. That one was already compressed in there, so it's right under half an inch. I think you can check if you don't have them out already. You just, well, if I had these knocked out, you just measure the opening. Um, for the wheel stud and just check whatever size that is so so pretty much the two things you need to know is the thread pitch and the neural size and you could order your new wheel studs but um other than that I'm pretty sure you could google it uh, most of the stuff is online I don't think I was able to find the information about the rears, but luckily they're the same as the blazer spindles, so they use the same ones. I think when you're looking online, it'll tell you like the opening size these are recommended from. I think this one was like 0.5 to 0.55 or something like that. Um, so it'll give you the range on the size you could uh, use for the opening you have. But I just wanted to throw that in there. Let me uh, get the other side done. Throw the wheels on. Oh, they're looking good. And then uh, get the car lowered.